So today we're going to look at a Python library called Behave, which uses a language called Gherkin, which is a natural language way of describing the test cases. So to demonstrate how this works, we're just going to create a simple file for a code to test. Looks like. So we'll call this main. And all we're going to do is we're going to create an incrementer. And what it does is it takes in some integer, a stride. And what it returns is a reference to an internal function that uh, does the incrementing. So that function takes in another integer and just returns the sum of those two numbers. And the outside function just returns f. So th what this function will look like is if you say equals incrementer, say 10, we can print, you know, foo 5, and that should print 15. So if we want to try this out, uh, main, main.py, and it will return print 15. But that's not what we're interested in. So to create our tests, what we'll go in is create a directory, and this will just be our features directory for our tests. And then we're going to create a feature file. So it's a Gherkin file, Gherkin being the language. And this can be, say, anything, uh, tests. And we'll name our uh, features here. So say we're testing the incrementer. Uh, normally you put like some descriptions here, but since we're only testing one function, we don't need to do that for now. And the different ways we can test are going to be in these scenarios. So scenario just be like a simple, uh, almost like a, an analog to a unit test. Um, so if we wanted to say test increasing a number, we can have a scenario testing, or say just test decreasing a number. And finally, if you want a scenario test doing nothing, so these will be our three kind of simple tests. So the structure of a Gherkin file uh, that Behave would execute looks something like this. So you have a given, a when, and a then, and every one of these will of these scenarios will have these. Now Gherkin files can be a little bit more complex. You can have multiple givens, ones, and thens um, for setting up different situations. Uh, you can have parameters and tables, but for now we're just going to use the simple structure. So the given is our initial condition uh, to set up the application. So if there's a stateful application that needs some setting up, um, that would be done in the given. The when uh, situation is um, the actual test that we're going to want to do, and then the then is testing the results of that test. So, for instance, if we want to do given, given a new incrementer of size 5, and that would be for increasing a number. If you want to test, you know, decreasing a new incrementer, of uh, size, say, negative 2. And then our third test, what we're testing is a incrementer of size 0. So in this case, we're testing doing nothing. And say when we increment 10, then we should see 15. So given a new incrementer size 5, when we apply it to the number 10, then it should output 15. Likewise, if we want to go here, uh, when we increment, uh, say, 20, then 20 incremented by negative 2, we should see 
say, 18. And technically this is decrementing, but as far as the code is concerned, it's, it's an increment. When we increment, uh, say, 15 by 0, then we should see just 15. So these are just the simple test cases that we're going to apply. And now we need to have some code that runs these test cases. So if we go and create a Python file and we can call this uh, uh, tests, doesn't matter. And we're going to want to move this into a folder called steps. So if we create a new Python package, steps, and we move this file into steps. So let's go move this file over here so we can see both sides. So to use behave, this is where we actually import our behave library to run it. We say we're going to need uh, three kind of main conditions. We need a given, when, and then. And we're going to define what each given when and then are uh, for each statement. So we define you know, our first given. And we're going to define the text. So we pass in the text of our given statement. We want a function to run, say a new incrementer of size. And then we're going to pass in through curly braces the, sh the name of the variable we want to assign that to. And then when we define a function, uh, it's, its name doesn't matter too much. Uh, so we're going to get given incrementer. And the first parameter when behave runs this is, is going to pass in some context object. And the second and remaining parameters are going to be whatever parameters we define in this text. So that would be here. So what we want to do is we want to set up a uh, context equals incrementer yeah incrementer of stride and we need to go import so from main import incrementer and I'm gonna pass that so we're just creating a new variable assigned to this context that will be passed to the later stages. And we're just setting up this incrementer. So this could be called anything. This is going to be foo. And we're defining it using the incrementer uh, we set up in this main file over here. So that's that function. That's all that we need to do in there. So then the next step is when we define a win, we increment some number and we need to spell this correctly again we pass in first the context and then any remaining parameters so now we're going to say the results of this test is equal to the previously set up incrementer apply to whatever number we pass in. And finally, for our then statement, so that is we should see results. And again, the name of the function doesn't matter too much. And we pass in context and any list of parameters. We can just do a simple assert that the context that results equals the results. Now, going into this, there's a little bit of an issue. So these are not actual integers. We're expecting them to be integers. They're oops, they're strings. So we need to make sure that they are coursed. As integers on each side so we do this 
And that should define all of our test cases. So to actually run behave, if we're in the root directory, what behave is going to do is it's going to look for those features and look for these feature files, and then it's going to try to apply the code to them using in a folder called steps. And we can create more uh, Python files under these steps, and it'll load them. So if we run behave, and we'll see that our scenario is passed. And to check what happens if they don't work, so let's say we created an error here. We'll see that one test did fail, and it'll tell you where it failed. So it'll highlight, if you're using a uh, command line interface with uh, color text, it should highlight it. But if not, you'll just see the, it'll point out the one that failed. So if you go back and fix that, And that essentially is the, the simplest uh, description of behave. I'll be using that in the program, the next steps series uh, for episode five.